Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Today is July 24th, yes. 2010, and we're at Pat Warren's residence uh, celebrating her coming home. And we're going to start with L presently we have Linda, her sister. We have Candace, Linda's daughter. We have Tootsie. What's your name, Tusi? Joanne. Joanne. I know your name, Joanne. And we have Tards. So we're going to start with Linda. Uh, Linda is going to provide maybe some humor or words of wisdom. And Linda. Good morning. Uh, I'm not much a talker as my family and Pat and them, but I wouldn't have missed this day for the world. This is going to give me closure, somewhat of closure. I'm going to always miss her. I'm the sister that came after her. At one time, I followed. In her footsteps, I didn't have an identity. I was always little pet. <laughs> <coughs> pet taught me a lot growing up. We went through a lot growing up, whether it be having our disputes or just showing love. I'm going to miss her very much. But every day I'm going to think about her. It's always something that happens that makes me remember. I remember her last sitting on this very couch talking with her not long ago. I just want to say I love my sister very much. And it's it's going to be hard. But I'm going to get through it. My family and my son who's so fond of his auntie Pat. Very good. Thanks, Thanks Linda. Applause. <laughs> Hello, I'm Candace. I just want to uh, take a minute to, to reflect on a few things I uh, talked about with Pat on this very couch, as my mom said, the last place I saw her and I'm seeing her again. But um, I didn't get to know Pat that well when I was a youngster, but as I got older, I really began to appreciate her creativity. At first I was kind of like, oh God, this is Auntie Pat coming to do this or whatever. <laughs> but I began to really appreciate and love what she was doing and I just appreciate everything she's done for my children. And I just thank God for the uh, last year that we became very close and we shared a lot of intimate things. I just thank you, God, for all the memories. Auntie Pat, you always be in my heart. Just like Mom said, every, every day I'm talking about something Auntie Pat would do or did. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. You're, you're with family. Oh, it's the same thing. She used to put me on the spot just like that, too. Okay. <laughs> See, I feel like a... Yep. Don't be looking at me. You never had that one. Can you picture of Oh, no. Oh, no. no. That's good. She's good. Okay. Hello. I'm Joanne. They call me Tusi. I'm Pat's niece. Um, same thing as Candy said, I didn't know Pat that well until I, I got a little older. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'll edit that. Don't be watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot from Pat. You will be missed. And my family and I, we love you. And we are always remember you every day. Same thing as Candace and Auntie Linda said. Something comes up, you always remember every day. I love you. Super. Very good. All right, Todd.
Get my thin side. side. <laughs> Just get my thin side. Okay. Okay. Proper pencil. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Taj, Auntie Pat's niece. And I remember very, very vividly every summer, every summer growing up, you just knew you were going to Auntie Pat's house. She had the big house, she had the pool. And then one year I remember she tried to be slick. She said, y'all not coming to tap my house. So she didn't put water in the pool. <laughs> but she left. So you know us hard-headed children. We just put on our roller skates and we roller skated in the empty pool. <laughs> now Ebony hurt herself. You know, Ebony always hurt herself. But that's okay. But I just remember that. And um, I'm just happy that my children were able to remember Auntie Pat. And my son said, Mommy, well, Auntie Pat's on. Who's going to read to me? So that helps me remember the type of impact she had, not just on me, but on them as well. And my oldest daughter, Clarice, was able to spend time with her at the Blue Ross Theater and was able to meet a lot of famous people. And every time it came up, I want to go with Auntie Pat because she helped me meet important people and things like that. And they miss her as well as I will, and she will never be forgotten. Never be forgotten. I love you, Auntie Pat, and I'll see you in heaven. Super. All right, folks, I want to thank you all for coming, although it was only a handful of us, but I will share it. Add stuff in as people, some of, some of us may come later. Right. I can, oh, yeah, that's right. I can always add stuff in later. I want to thank you all for coming, and I want you all to know this is a historic moment that I am going to save forever, and I'm going to send a copy to your mom. Thanks, Lily. Thank you. Thank you.